Hi, my name's Brett Fritch. I'm a Tamora local. I'm now an orthopaedic surgeon. I live in Sydney. Um, but I spent my formative years here and my family still live here uh, on the land. Uh, we spend a lot of time here with my family, my two kids, my wife. Uh, very fond of, of Tamora and, and spend as much time here as I can. I had a fantastic childhood. I had the best of both worlds in that I lived on a farm, so mum and dad are farmers. Uh, but the farm is right on the edge of the town limits. So one of our paddocks is in the town limits. So I could easily get into town for any events. Part of my childhood was playing sport, a big part of my childhood. I played a lot of sport, a lot of rugby league, and then a lot of water skiing. So I got into water skiing through mum and dad. Dad was a keen water skier. Past my 18th birthday, I was a first year medical student at the time. Uh, I won the world championship in barefoot jumping. So I was you know, a good junior, successful junior, went through the ranks, represented Australia at the junior level, won Australasian titles, multiple national and state titles. It was a really rapid transition from being a good junior to world class in that event and I was fortunate enough to make it into the senior team for that particular world and had a very good day on the right day and won the world championship. Finished my medical degree with first class honours uh, and then was an intern at Royal Prince Alfred Hospital and from there it's a, a matter of transitioning into the type of medicine you want to do. I wanted to be an orthopaedic surgeon, one of the youngest surgeons to get through that program and get finished. Um, I guess I finished the HSC in 1993, started first year med school in 1994, and finished my last surgical exam in 2008. Uh, and that, that's a quick path, that's the quickest way through. So that's 15 years to get through that. So my current role is I'm an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in knee surgery. So um, I am a knee subspecialist. Um, I work at Royal Prince Alfred Hospital, so I can treat pu public patients in the public system. Um, and then I spend the rest of my time in my private practice. I have a private clinic, North Shore Knee Clinic, with two partners. Uh, and as part of our, my private practice, we run a research lab, so the Sydney Orthopaedic Research Institute, based at our rooms in Chatswood. From the pure science-based solving a problem, so patients with with joint-based disease. Why do they get it? How do they get it? How can we prevent it? How can we treat it? Um, epidemiological type approach. I find that interesting. I really like the, the simple mechanics of here's a broken bone and here's a fixed bone. Um, you know, it probably comes from the farming background. You take something broken and you fix it. I'm very fortunate that um, I have a beautiful wife and, and two, two gorgeous kids. My goal personally is to keep them happy. <laughs> Uh, in the broad sense, I mean, obviously we all we look at the kids and I want them to have, I want them to find a passion that I have. I just want them to find something they're passionate about and enjoy it. There are things you can control and things you can't control. The things I can control is how prepared I am from a skill set point of view. Things I've learnt to do and, and it constantly improves so that when opportunities come along you can take advantage of them. You don't have control of those opportunities, but there are lots of them. They're everywhere. And the more skills you have, the more you can take advantage of. And uh, a lot of the things that have led to where I am right now are not things I would have chosen. They're sliding doors that occurred that ended up here. There's a lot to love about Tamora. People, when they meet someone from the country, have a perception that they're hardworking, that they're honest, um, that they'll tell it how it is. And I think that's 100% true. And that's what I like about it. And that's not a bad reputation to have. Um, it's, it's a hardworking, honest place. The part of that honesty and country thing is to, to withdraw a little bit and downplay things. Um, tomorrow really should shine its light because it's, it's done exceptionally well.